Hello, and welcome to the MetPlus training for Docker containers. If you'd like to learn more about the MetPlus software, please refer to dtcenter.org. Please note that this content was developed for MetPlus version 3.1. My name is John Halligatway, and I, I am a software engineer working on the development and support of the MetPlus components. In this video, we will set up the MetPlus training environment using Docker containers. We assume that you're working on a machine on which the Docker software has already been installed and is available in your path. I'll run which Docker to show that Docker is installed in user local bin on my machine. If you do not have Docker installed on your machine, please exit this video and proceed to the Docker website at www.docker.com. Installing Docker requires privileged user access to your machine. If you do not have that level of access, please consider one of the other options for setting up a MetPlus training environment. We will begin by launching a terminal window in which we can execute commands. Do this by running xterm on a Linux machine, opening the terminal app on a Mac, which I've done here, or by launching a terminal emulator on Windows. After you have launched a terminal window, let's test that Docker is running properly on your machine. So we, we will start by running the docker hello world command. If you are following, following along with the script of this video, all commands shown in code blocks may be copied and pasted into your terminal window. This docker run command first looks for an image named hello world on your machine. If found, it creates a software container from that image and executes the default command, or more likely, if hello world does not yet exist on your machine, Docker will automatically download it from Docker Hub prior to executing the default command. We'll talk more about that dash dash rm option that we use later on. If successful, you should see a hello from Docker message followed by some information and link. If this command did not run successfully, please exit this video and work on your Docker installation. Docker containers are provided for both the MetPlus software and the sample input data set. Many training exercises require that a sample input data set container be mounted when the software containers run. We will start by running the MetPlus container without sample input data, but we will cover that topic later on in this video. Now that we've verified that Docker is running well, we only need to run one more command to launch a MetPlus container. docker run dash it dash dash rm will give it a name MetPlus dt center slash MetPlus dash training bin bash. This automatically downloads the latest version of the MetPlus training image from the DT Center organization on Get Docker Hub, unless you have already done so, which I have here. This image is much larger than Hello World and will take much longer to retrieve. Once the download is complete, it will execute the bin bash command inside the container, effectively logging you into it. The dash IT options provide an interactive terminal session enabling you to execute commands inside the container. Every Docker run command creates a new software container from the image being run. And those containers persist until they are removed. The remove option that we use automatically removes that container from your machine once you exit out of it. We recommend using the dash dash rm option to avoid stale containers consuming disk space. However, if you'd like the container pers to persist after you exit, simply remove that dash dash rm option. The dash dash name option assigned a specific name to our container rather than letting Docker choose one for us. Notice that my prompt changed once I ran that command, which is a good reminder that I'm now inside the container. Now let's run the point stat tool, which is one of the met verification tools. The which command shows us where the point stat tool is installed. And I see that it's in user local bin. If I run point stat with no command line arguments, I'll see a usage statement for that tool. All of the MET tools, as well as the MET plus Python wrappers, are readily avail available inside this container. So, which master MET plus.py shows the location of the MET plus Python wrappers. And if I run that, again with no command line arguments, I'll see the usage statement for MET plus. This container makes it very easy to get up and running with the MET plus components. For now, let's simply exit out of this container to return to your local machine. Notice that the prompt changed again, 
which is a good reminder that I've exited the container. As I mentioned earlier, many training exercises require sample input data sets. We have provided these data sets as data containers in the DT Center MetPlus data repository on Docker Hub. The input data sets are differentiated by their tag name. Each tag name begins with a MetPlus version number followed by a description of the data. If you are logged into Docker Hub, you can view the MetPlus data repository tags here. Otherwise, you can view the tags from the Docker Hub registry here. For example, the 3.1 Met Tool Wrapper tag here contains data for the Met Tool Wrappers in Met Plus version 3.1. Let's pull that image and use it to create a data container that will name Met Tool Wrapper. I've already pulled this image, so don't worry if your commands take much longer to run than mine. So Docker pull DT center met plus dash data and then the tag name 3.1 dash met underscore tool underscore wrapper. This runs quickly because I've already I've already run this pull command. And now we'll run Docker create, give it a name, met tool wrapper, DT center, met plus dash data. 3.1 met tool wrapper. The Docker pull command retrieves the image from Docker Hub, while the Docker create command instantiates that image as a data container locally. Next, we'll relaunch a met plus software container, but this time using the volumes from option to mount the met tool wrapper sample data container. So we'll run docker run dash it dash dash rm dash dash name met plus and the volumes from option mounts this data container that we just created. We want to instantiate the DT center met plus training image and inside that we want to run bin bash. Once inside the container let's list out the input data directory we find in data input met plus data slash met test. The met test directory contains the sample input data that we mounted using the volumes from option. If you'd like to mount multiple input data sets, just use the volumes from option multiple times to specify each one. While we are still inside the met plus container, let's review a few important environment variables that are used during the met plus online tutorial. You can find the met plus online tutorial from the Met Plus project page on the DTC website by going to the user support and tutorial online tab. Then select the current online tutorial and you'll find the online tutorial practical sessions. So let's execute the following command to see the values for uh, Met Plus tutorial sir, which is the location where the data that's generated during the tutorial is written. And we'll look at MetPlus build base, which is the location where MetPlus is installed. And Met build base is the location of the Met installation. And MetPlus data is the location of the input data for the tutorial. These are used throughout the online tutorial to simplify the commands that you'll run. So you're now ready to proceed to the training exercises. Just execute all future training commands from inside this container. Each training exercise should indicate the required input data at the top. For example, the follow along note at the top of this page tells you that the Met Tool Wrapper input data is required. Be sure to run Docker pull and Docker create to retrieve that input data and use the volumes from option to mount it into your Docker run container. Once you have finished running through some Met Plus training exercises from another module, you'll want to exit this container and clean up. To exit the container, simply type exit. From outside the container, you can list both the images and containers on your machine by running these commands. Docker images shows you the images, 
and Docker PS minus A shows you the containers. So at a minimum, you should see images for Hello World, Met Plus Training, and the Met Tool Wrapper data. And Docker PS minus A should only show you the Met Tool Wrapper data container. All of the other containers created by Docker were automatically removed once you exited them, since we used the dash dash RM option. If you'd like the container to persist after exiting, omit that dash dash RM option. To illustrate this, let's run the following commands to relaunch a container without the dash dash RM option. Simply exit back out of it and then list the containers on your machine. So we'll run docker run dash IT for interactive, name it met plus, DT center, met plus training, bin bash. So now the prompt changed and we're inside the container. And I'll just type exit to exit out of it, run docker ps minus a, and now I see that there is a container named Met Plus that exited a short time ago. If you'd like to log back into that container to do some more training exercises, run the following commands to start it back up and launch the bash shell. So I see that its status is currently exited. So I'll have to restart this container by running docker start Met Plus before I can do more work with it. If I run docker ps minus a, I see that its status is now up as of a few seconds ago. And now I can run docker is exec dash IT met plus bin bash. Now you'll notice my prompt change and I'm back inside this container. Now let's say that you're all finished with the training exercises and want to clean up your machine. You can exit this met plus container by typing exit and delete all the containers and images from your machine by running the following commands. So Docker will say, see the containers with Docker PS minus A, and we'll do Docker RM minus F to force the removal of our Met Plus container and the Met Tool Wrapper data container. Running Docker PS minus A again, I see that they're gone. Docker images shows me the images on my machine. And to remove images, you run Docker RMI to remove the image. So I'll remove the hello world image uh, and I'm going to refer to it by its image ID and the met plus data image and the met plus training image. Now running Docker images, those are gone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have found that running the met plus training exercises inside a Docker container can be very useful.